this is more like it. Turning out session. Oops. <laughs> These are the best twins that we've had so far, I think. They just look amazing. They were born eight o'clock last night and they're going to go out now in the field, aren't they? Two ewe lambs. We've had a bit of a difficult afternoon, yeah. evening. There's another storm going on outside. <laughs> Hence the reason for Nick's interesting outfit. This ewe hasn't got really any milk. So we've been bottle feeding the lambs to get them some colostrum in. And um, she's also not very happy. So that's why we've put her on the halter. So this is the last check of the night and we'll just have to see, see what tomorrow brings. So it's 5.45, Sunday morning. Last night we had another storm, Storm Kathleen. Just seen this big, biggish gap come down on the lane, which we're gonna have to clear in order to get the truck through. So that'll be all the wind and rain, which is not ideal. So I'm just off to check for any new lambs. I think I can see twins up here. Last night we were watching until eight o'clock-ish after sunset. Not that there was one. Um, and a ewe had gone off to be separate, which is a sign that she's gonna lamb, but she wasn't really lambing. So I thought maybe it might be lambing this morning. So we'll see in a minute or two. She picked a good spot, sheltered on this flat bit and good spot mum she's got two two lambs say they've been born a while also checking ewes and lambs that spent the night outside they seem okay see where last night the rain came down so fast it was like a river washing down here we're getting a sunrise today albeit rather windy here and i've got you lambing in the middle of the field uh, So we are watching her and they are watching us. <laughs> Come on then. There is.
kind of adds to the excitement of it just feeling like hell on earth. <laughs> so it must be nearly nine o'clock now. I'm just crouched behind Andy's wonderful bit of walling that he's done for us. Thank you, Andy. It's providing some great shelter from this awful weather. Um, so yeah, so we've had two two sets of twins this morning. One was already here at six and the other one was the sheep that I was watching. She started about quarter past six and she just wasn't really progressing. So I felt like perhaps there was an issue like a backwards lamb. Um, so um, I was right and the lamb is now out and she's had the other one indoors because the weather is cold and wet and windy. Uh, it doesn't really seem like the best conditions for newborns. These are the triplets that were born a couple of days ago. So at the moment, the triplets are staying inside, but they, they look really good. Um, but just whilst the weather's wild, I think we're just gonna wait and get them established. But they're, they're looking really nice, aren't they? And then we've got another set of triplets in here. Having a little, having a little jump about. It's really, really windy. It's 12. I can't believe it's midday already. The time just flies. Um, so we've had twins, a single, and now we've got one triplet that's arrived. So I'm just watching that. But I really need to pop back down to the farm and feed the twins in the shed. So we've got a ewe with no milk. Um, and they just need a bit of milk to top them up. I'm hoping that the ewe will get more milk as the days come on, but I don't know. Um, the wind is quite ferocious, but it's not raining at the moment. So we should be grateful for that, I suppose. And it does help to dry things up. So yeah, it's fine overhead at the minute, but just very, very blustery and blowy. Um, and yeah, still lambing. So this, we started on the second, today's the seventh. So second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. So this is our sixth day lambing. And I think we've lambed 15 years so far. So it's half one on Sunday and we've got a set of triplets now. <laughs> um, so the first one came on its own outside, second one needed help, so it was just a, a one leg back at the front, so helped with that. Um, and then I went to the house, had a cup of tea, put some food, food in the oven and uh, the third one has arrived. And it's still windy and raining outside, so inside is the best place. These triplets, I was monitoring as the ewe was cleaning them. She was cleaning them all, but she took an instant dislike to one of them and started knocking it about. So I whisked it away pretty fast. So this is the adopter setup. It's not my favorite thing to do, but it can be an absolute godsend. And this is the tiny little triplet that had to come in and have the hairdryer treatment a few days ago. Doing so good. Off we go into the nursery. Yesterday, I had my suspicions that Phantom was looking for somewhere to have her lambs and uh, she just sort of wandered off 
after the last sort of as we were doing the last checks about 8 p.m but this morning you can see she's got twins <laughs> drink that was the thing that dad taught me was take them a cup of water because they're thirsty and they don't have to go far they won't leave the lambs they can have a drink so yeah got phantoms twins just taking her some water and there's definitely a ewe over here by the wall who's been having some contractions she's pouring the ground at the moment so i shall be watching her and i just heard the woodpecker for the first time this year so that's a nice uh, spring sound i think So they're phantoms and then over there under the wall she's got one she's just cleaning it up another one to go and the ewes have just had their breakfast it's half seven brand new just born So it's mid-morning now, which is time to catch these lambs that were here first thing yesterday. So Nick is on the job. And then these are the ladies in waiting over here. And it's a gloomy day. <laughs> More lambs going out today. Oh. All the ways to go. That is the backwards lamb that was born yesterday, and then the little, slightly smaller ewe lamb. Although they're both ewe lambs, actually. That one came second. It's Monday lunchtime, and we are spending a rare moment together, aren't we, Nick? Yeah. Um, we are watching a sheep up here. Sorry for my bad filming. She is there. And so we're giving her some space, but we're watching her. It's it's one o'clock and we have been, or I've been cleaning the bell tents from the campsite um, as people have checked out. And Nick's been sh um, hankering them back down again because we had this really, really windy weather. So what have you been doing with them, Nick? Uh, I've just been checking all the guy ropes are tight and mm. just making sure nothing's got damaged and mm -hmm. all that sort of stuff. So we're always flip-flopping between campsite jobs and um, f and farm stuff. And so whilst we've been sat here, we've been um, calling people back that have left us messages to do with the campsite, researching stuff that we might need. So we're multitasking in this little space, aren't we? Mm. Um, and we're glad because it's not too much of a bad day right now. Um, after a bit of a drizzly start, it's a bit brighter. Um, so yes, yeah, so we're just hoping that the, these triplets arrive because down at the farm we've got, I've got laundry to do, bell tents to finish, lambs to feed in the shed, and I want to have some lunch. Oh, she just had a good shake. She's just pushed out the little lamb. We can maybe just see it. We like to give them some space. But that's good. Hello lady, well done. You got on with that one, didn't you? I've just got you some water. When you're ready. Fab little lambs. Good mother. Uh, the pressure's off a little bit this afternoon in terms of have a lunch, got some jobs done and ticked off. 
and I'm just watching now a year in the twins. I'm just going to go back for my binoculars, but I just had a walk around the nursery field and uh, it brings me so much happiness seeing their little faces, the lambs. They are just adorable, all cuddled up together or playing. Um, and moments like that, they, they sort of, you know, make up for the tough moments as well. So just love to see it. More twins have arrived and it's nearly 5 p.m. That's the end of this video. I've got lots more to update you on. So there'll be another part coming soon. Thank you for watching. Until next time. Bye.